Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. A while back, several months ago, I made a video on the Azov Mana prophecy. And then in one of the more recent videos, I also mentioned briefly about it. And this prophecy is mainly about the Ukraine country I'm from. Also in the country, the pastor Philip Barnett, he is the one that prophecy came through. He also talks about some future of Russia and also a little bit of United, about the United States. And so um, one of the commenters, they asked me to do another video and talk about it in more detail. I'm going to include a link below in the, in the description in case some of you would like to see that prophecy for themselves. It's a long video. I just rewatched it just to freshen up my memory and things. I, uh, it's almost two hour, two hour video. It's in both English and Russian. You know, the pastor, Philip Barnett, he is, uh, uh, you know, he's talking in English and then the Russian interpreter translates. So that is one of the reasons why that video is so long. I promise you I'm not going to be two hours. I'll try to keep it as brief as possible while, while trying to cover all the high points of the prophecy. Philip Barnett, he's an American pastor who at that point was living in Kiev, which, which is the capital of the Ukraine. And I believe he's married to a Ukrainian woman. His wife is Ukrainian. And um, I think he's from Oklahoma. And uh, so he had this prophecy came to him in a dream. And before I start, you know, I want to get, get into this prophecy a little bit deeper than I had before. I just would like to say this, you know, if you're a Christian, of course, the Bible even warns us about fake prophets. So you need to, it, it's up to you if you, want, if you want to believe it or not. And, uh, you know, I filter every prophecy that comes my way. This prophecy, in my opinion, seems real. And um, if you're not Christian, I would ask you to watch it anyway, because perhaps you'll hear something interesting. And uh, if if you don't believe in it, then it'll be some still some in interesting information to you, in my opinion. Either way, you know. Thanks for watching. Whoever's going to be watching it, I appreciate it. And so. Uh, Philip Barnett, he has a church in Kiev, and um, he had this prophecy that came to him in a dream, and um, he also said that this pro uh, he had similar dream 10 years before this one, and then uh, he never said anything about it to anybody. 10 years went by, and it repeated itself, the prophecy. And so this time he, he wrote it down and he told to everybody. Yeah, he has lived in the Ukraine for 14 years already at the point when he had this dream. And so his dream started. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to mention everything because it's too long. Just the uh, highlights. He saw in his dream eight mountains. The mountains looked, they were in the shape of missiles. They looked like missiles, but they were mountains. You know how things are in the dreams, you know, sometimes they're weird. And um, all these uh, eight mountains that are in the shape of, of the missiles, they were 
in a semicircle, sort of like crescent moon type of circle. And so he asked God, he said, why are they in semicircle, sort of like crescent moon shape? And uh, God said, because that's the cities that are going to get hit with nuclear bombs. If you connect all the cities, there's eight of them, if you connect all the dots, it's going to form that crescent moon shape, that semicircle. And basically the entire eastern Ukraine will be destroyed. And he mentioned the names of the cities, you know, uh, I'm not going to mention all of them to you because it will be difficult for most of you to pronunciate them. But city I'm from, Kharkov, it's going to get destroyed. Kiev, which is the capital, is going to get destroyed. And a couple of other cities that have been in the news for the past six years, Donetsk and Lugansk. You, you guys know those cities, they will also get destroyed. And he also said that Russia, Western Russia, are going to get hit with nuclear bombs. Ukraine doesn't have nuclear arsenal, but I imagine it's going to happen uh, probably from Ukrainian allies. And so um, there will be a safe place in Russia, safe place in Russia is going to be east of Ural Mountains. It's kind of right in the middle of Siberia. It'd be far enough from all the cities that's going to get hit. He didn't mention which cities in Russia are going to get hit, as this prophecy was mainly about the Ukraine. Obviously, a lot of people are going to die, but he said that's the place of refuge for 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 his people and whoever and whoever wants to get away from that nuclear holocaust and as the united states supports ukraine obviously russia is going to retaliate against the united states so, United States, according to his prophecy, and once again, you can take it or leave it, but United States will also get their portion of nuclear bombs. And according to him, the Washington DC is going to get two bombs, New York City, three bombs, Boston will get one, Detroit, Chicago, Cleveland, San Francisco, LA. That's all the cities in the United States that he mentioned in his prophecy. I uh, personally think if it happens this big, it's probably not everything because I'm sure they're gonna hit something like um, Dallas, Fort Worth area, it's a huge area. I'm sure they would hit place like Seattle because Seattle is a it's a huge city. It has a huge naval Bangor naval base. It also has Boeing. It has Microsoft. It's a great target, to be honest. You know, if I was enemy, I, I would hit it. So, of course, time will tell. But and it's just purely my opinion about Seattle and Dallas, for an example. But uh, I just don't see if they're gonna go that much. Why would not, they not hit these two cities? Maybe some others, but these are two really important cities. I would hit if I was if I was the enemy. And then he goes on and he prophesied that in this prophecy um, there will be new eventually after this um, after this uh, war there will be new USSR. Um, Russia will form new USSR point two um, point two oh it will be um, 
Russia, Eastern Ukraine, it'll be Belarus, 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 and so um, maybe some other former uh, countries that used to be part of USSR, but he mentioned just these. Um, he said he also mentioned that there would be two evacuations from Kiev. Um, and first evacuation will be uh, well, when there will be Russian army coming, uh, coming close. And I thought, honestly, what was on the Russian-Ukrainian border just month ago, I thought that was the beginning of this prophecy. Apparently it wasn't. I believe this prophecy is true. I believe it will eventually come true. And uh, second evacuation from Kiev, of course, will be during the nuclear holocaust. Um, he also mentioned in this uh, prophecy about Antichrist and that Antichrist is going to be from from the Rothschilds family. It could be, as Rothschilds are one of the richest families in this world and they are one of the people who uh, are in charge of the whole world banking system, so I wouldn't be surprised. I've heard different versions where Antichrist is going to come from. This is one of them, you know, it's hard to say, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see, I guess. And so, uh, that's basically, in a nutshell, that prophecy. Azov Mana. Once again, I will leave a link in the description. If some of you are interested, in watching the whole thing you can see it in English of course it has a Russian interpreter and that is why it's so long but nevertheless you can watch it I thank you for your time thank you for watching I hope um, I hope this video is useful if it is useful or interesting please share it and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and ring that notification bell thanks for watching god bless